टू एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अब लोनेबल फंड थियोरी ऑफ इंटरेस्ट और वी कैन से द न्यो क्लासिकल थियोरी ऑफ इंटरेस्ट दिस थियोरी इज प्रोपाउंडेड बाय इकोनमिस्ट लाइक विक्शल ओल इन मिर्डाल एंड रॉबर्टसन अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस थियोरी इंटरेस्ट रेट इज डिटर्मिन बाय डिमांड फॉर लोनेबल फंड एंड सप्लाई ऑफ लोनेबल फंड लोनेबल फंड means money that available in economy for borrowing it's include all type of credits like bank loan and according to this theory interest rate is determined by demand for loanable funds and supply of loanable funds or we can say that according to this theory interest rate is determined by how many people wants to take loans and how much money available in economy for giving loans to people as we know according to this theory interest rate is determined by demand for loanable funds and supply of loanable funds that's why in this theory we will discuss about what is supply of loanable funds what is demand for loanable funds and determination of interest rate firstly we are going to talk about what is supply of loanable funds supply of loanable funds means how much fund available in economy for giving loans to people and supply of loanable funds depend on four factors first factor is saving a second factor is this hoarding third factor is this investment and last factor is bank credit or money one by one we discuss about each factor so first factor is saving if people save more money in banks it means more funds are available in banks for giving loans to people if people save more money in banks it means more funds are available in banks for giving loans to people but saving depend on interest rate if interest rate is very high people will save more money in banks on the other hand if interest rate is very low people will save very less money in banks second factor is dis होर्डिंग डिस होर्डिंग इज अपोजिट ऑफ होर्डिंग इन केस ऑफ होर्डिंग यू स्टोर योर मनी बट इन केस ऑफ डिस होर्डिंग यू ब्रिंग आउट योर मनी फॉर गिविंग लोन्स टू पीपल इन केस ऑफ डिस होर्डिंग यू ब्रिंग आउट योर मनी फॉर गिविंग लोन्स टू पीपल डिस होर्डिंग ऑल्सो डिपेंड ऑन इंटरेस्ट रेट इफ इंटरेस्ट रेट इज हाई यू विल ब्रिंग आउट मोर मनी फॉर गिविंग लोन्स टू पीपल ऑन द अदर हैंड इफ इंटरेस्ट रेट इज वेरी लो यू विल ब्रिंग आउट लेस मनी फॉर गिविंग लोन्स टू पीपल नेक्स्ट फैक्टर इज डिस इन्वेस्टमेंट डिस इन्वेस्टमेंट इज अपोजिट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इट मीन्स विड्रॉल और रिडक्शन ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू इन्वेस्ट ऑन सो मेनी मशीन्स नाउ यू थिंक दैट दीज मशीन्स आर नॉट गिविंग यू प्रॉफिट सो यू डिसाइडेड टू विड्रॉ और रिड्यूज इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑन इट बाय सेलिंग दीज मशीन्स और नॉट रिप्लेसिंग इट एंड वाट एवर मनी यू सेव यू यूज दिस मनी फॉर गिविंग लोन्स टू पीपल एंड दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑल्सो डिपेंड ऑन इंटरेस्ट रेट If interest rate is very high, you will do more disinvestment and use money for giving loans to people. On the other hand, if interest rate is very low, you will do less disinvestment. Next factor is bank money or credit. Bank credit means total amount of funds that a person or business can take from banks. Bank credit means total amount of funds that a person or business can take from banks. Bank credit also depend on interest rate. If interest rate is high, bank wants to give more loans to people. On the other hand, if interest rate is very low, bank wants to give very less loans to people. Now we are going to talk about demand for loanable funds. Demand for loanable funds means how many people want to take loans. Demand for loanable funds means how many people wants to take loans. And demand for loanable funds depend on three factors: investment, consumption, and hoarding. One by one, we discuss about each. First factor is investment. People wants to take a loan from banks for investment purpose. And investment and interest. Interest have a inverse relation. If interest rate is very high, people want to take less loan from banks for investment purpose. On the other hand, when interest rate is very low, people want to take more loans from banks for investment purpose. Next factor is consumption. 
people also want to take loans from banks for consumption purpose as we know so many people buy things on credit they take loans from banks for buying car mobile ac etc and loans for consumption purpose and interest rate also have a inverse relation when interest rate is very high people will take less loans for consumption purpose on the other hand when interest rate is very low people will take more loans for consumption purpose next factor is hoarding sometime people create demand for loanable fund for hoarding purpose hoarding means they want to store money or want to keep some cash in their hand interest rate and hoarding also have a inverse relation when interest rate is high people want to hoard less money on the other hand if interest rate is low people want to hold more money so we have discussed about all factors that affecting supply of loanable funds and demand for loanable funds and all factors that affecting supply of loanable funds and interest rate have a positive relation all factors that affecting supply of loanable funds and interest rate have a positive relation as we earlier discussed when interest rate increase saving disinvestment disordering bank money also increase on on the other hand when interest rate fall saving disinvestment disordering bank money also fall so we can say that all factors that affecting supply of loanable funds and interest rate have a positive relation in this diagram you can see on x axis we have supply of loanable funds on y axis we have interest rate this d i is disinvestment curve this d h is disordering curve this b m is bank money curve this s s is saving curve you can see slope of all curve is upward why slope of all curve is upward because all factors that affecting supply of loanable funds and interest rate have a positive relation that's why slope of all curve is upward when we combined all factors that affecting supply of loanable fund we got total supply of loanable fund in second diagram this ss represent total supply of loanable funds and all factors that affecting demand for loanable funds and interest rate have a inverse relation all factors that affecting demand for loanable funds and interest rate have a inverse relation as we earlier discussed when interest rate is very high people will do less demand for loans for investment consumption and holding purpose on the other hand when interest rate is very low people will do more demand for loans for investment consumption and holding purpose in this diagram you can see on x axis we have demand for loanable funds and y axis we have interest rate this cc is our consumption curve this hh is our holding curve this ii is our investment curve you can see slope of all curve is downward why slope of all curve is downward because interest rate and all factor that affecting demand for loanable funds have a inverse relation when we combined all factor that affecting demand for loanable funds then we got total demand curve in the second diagram the dd represent total demand for loanable funds here we make everything in one diagram on x axis we have demand and supply for loanable funds and y axis we have interest rate here all black curves like d i d h b m s s represent all factors that affecting supply of loanable fund and all red curves like c c h h i i represent all factors that affecting demand for loanable funds as we earlier discussed according to this theory interest rate is determined by demand for loanable funds and supply of loanable fund here you can see this dd curve represent total demand for loanable fund and this ss curve represent total supply of loanable funds at this e point demand for loanable funds and supply of loanable funds is equal to each other that's why we can say that this oor is our equally with them interested so this is all about loanable fund theory of interested i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care